This is John Schultz reporting for the Holland Sentinel. The Holland Christian Middle School football teams had some special company Thursday as coach Bob Cool invited three former University of Michigan football stars to work with the players. Quarterback Rick Leach finished third in Heisman Trophy voting in 1978 and had All-American offensive tackle Bill Dufek protecting him along the way. Running back Jamie Morris is the third all-time leading rusher for the University of Michigan. All right, everybody doing all right today? Yeah! All right. Well, I'm similar to Jamie when we about football. Obviously, for the three of us, uh, we end up having wonderful experiences and, and wonderful careers just to even get to the collegiate level and then play at a school like uh, Michigan. And we were very fortunate, and for the most part, we stayed healthy. Now, my offensive tackle, who's right here, he wasn't quite as fortunate. He's walking around now with two titanium shoulders and a spine fusion. But he kept me looking pretty. <laughs> I know in this area, you guys had a state championship team here, right? And I was talking with your coaches, and I think it's wonderful that you guys use a similar uh, system that's similar to what your high school used so you can learn some of the techniques and terminology and start to work on these things and then as you get older you want to keep playing you fit right in the system and I, and I think that's wonderful. Let's face it man, if you want to be successful in today's world as many of the coaches and these guys are in business you got to work hard. you got to work real hard. Look at what's happening in Ann Arbor this year. They went through a, a, a season that was un-Michigan-like for them. And people were sniping at him all over and sniping at our coach. And it was a, it was a tough year. But I take my hats off to that coach and the coaching staff. But more importantly, the players. Because for nine months, they busted their butts. They worked hard, they lifted weights, they ran, and now all of a sudden, for two games, they've been pretty good, including just knocking off Notre Dame last week. So. I had the opportunity to go to a practice at the University of Michigan this summer, where I met these guys, and, and through a mutual friend, uh, we just kind of came up with this idea of coming over here and having some fun with the kids and spending some time trying to uh, inspire them to, to work hard. What does it mean to have um, have these guys out here today at your practice? Uh, it means a lot because they teach us how to work 110% and when we go on this football field, uh, it's about football, but when we get off, it's about God and family and friends and school, but when we're on this field, we go 110% in football. What's probably the biggest thing that you've learned today that they've taught you? Uh, the biggest thing I learned is that football is not something you can lollygag, but practice makes perfect and we have to practice 110%. And how do you think this is gonna? Um, do you think this is gonna show up on the football field? I mean, some of these things that these guys are telling you here today. Oh yeah, this will show up big time. If we work 110 percent, then we'll play 110 percent. But it's all about starting with practice. So I'm gonna put you on the hot seat. Are you a Michigan football fan? No, I'm not. I'm a Michigan State fan, but I do like Michigan. So um, are you? Uh, are you a Kirk Cousins fan? Yes. chance to talk about football, talk to some uh, young men that are out here, uh, you know, spending their time out here where, you know, kids are out nowadays, they're playing video games and not really taking advantage of their uh, opportunities. So what are your thoughts on the, the current uh, Holland Christian football program? Hasn't been around for too long, but they've seen some success. Where do you see that going? Well, from what I've seen from these kids, I think it's going nothing but up. I'm, I'm impressed with the kids. I'm impressed with their determination. I'm, in, I'm impressed with the attitude around here. Uh, the kids are, uh, are they're out here. The coaches are out here. So I see nothing but uh, blue skies for these guys. Come on, coach! Come on! They don't have a tape on their helmets anymore. Muscle back, D-line. Come on, Jamie. <laughs> this is John Schultz reporting for the Holland Center.